بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the last and final messenger of Allah My name is Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim I am a simple Sunni man from Pakistan in my early 40s and for the last 28 years of my life I have been seeing dreams in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam have directly spoken to me. Over the course of 28 years, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has come into my dreams at least 500 times and Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has come into my dreams at least 300 times. You may be thinking, this is blasphemy. But before you inadvertently pass your judgment on me and disregard my message as a fabrication or classify me as a heretic, I would like to say that according to Sharia, it is very important to verify any news that comes to you. Yeah, I was about 12 years old when I saw my first divine dream with both Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In the years that followed, I had many such dreams and I would mainly keep these dreams to myself. On April 2014th, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told me, Qasim, I want you to tell the whole world about your dreams and I want everyone to know who you are. And with that command, I began sharing my dreams with my family members, friends, and neighbors. I also shared my dreams with some government officials and politicians through email. However, it seemed that no one was believing in me and my dreams, and they all ignored me. I felt like I was on a fool's errand, so soon after, I stopped sharing my dreams. A few months later, on December 2014th, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam appeared twice in my dreams and said, Qasim, you have to save Islam and Pakistan by sharing your dreams. At the time, I felt as if I had done enough, that I've shared my dreams with many people who ended up not believing in me. What more could I do? I was confused. The very next day, the Peshawar school massacre incident took place. And after that day, I decided no matter what, I will not stop my mission until my goal is accomplished. Every time I lose hope, I would be given glad tidings in my dreams and be told, Qasim, do not despair the mercy of Allah. Allah does not waste the rewards of those who are patient, and Allah is the best disposer of affairs. This refreshes my iman and keeps me firm on accomplishing the task Prophet Muhammad has appointed me with. I do not see Allah. I just feel His presence in my dreams. I feel that Allah is on Arsh al His magnificent supreme throne, which extends beyond the heavens and the earth. And His voice is coming down, descending from beyond the sky. Sometimes I see a very magnificent nur, emanating with a radiance I cannot describe, and His voice resonates from within it. I am not saying that this nur is Allah, but rather it is a magnificent version of nur that Allah created. Allah is beyond everything to be classified as a nur, and He is the creator of nur. The voice of Allah is unbelievable. It is filled with mercy and purity that is beyond words. Allah's voice in my dreams is highly exalted and has no weakness of running out of breath while talking. In one of my dreams I had seen earlier, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told me, Qasim, just before sleeping, Read Surah Iqlas, Surah Falak, and Surah Nas so that shaitan stays away from you. And I have been doing so every single night. He Azzawajal would give me advice on how to avoid all types of shirk and how to be a better human being overall. Whenever I would see Prophet Muhammad wasallam, my gaze lowers out of respect. His face emanates with a shimmering light. And when I look into his eyes, 
icy luminous nur. The height of our Prophet wasallam is above 5 feet 11 inches. He has a well-structured body and covers his head with a white cloth. He talks softly and politely and he shows the deepest affection. Prophet Muhammad wasallam has the most unexplainable love for his ummah and makes dua for his ummah constantly. In my dreams, I have seen that the prophetic methodology will be established in Pakistan and then the entire Muslim world. I have also seen many dreams on how Islam and the Muslim Ummah will rise up again to the whole world. The Muslim world will be a utopia again, the exact embodiment of the social structure as it was during the time of Prophet Muhammad wasallam. Our new state will be filled with peace, mercy and blessings and prosperity a civilization of justice honored with Islam where every ummati of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam will enjoy equal rights regardless of skin color and no prejudice will remain in the land by the will of Allah we will destroy all forms of shirk idol worship abolish interest unite all the deviant factions to the truth and no longer deal with barbaric politics Rather, we will implement the Sunnah of our beloved Prophet Muhammad and unify under one banner. Together, we will prosper and flourish and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give to us from His infinite treasures and we will all be content. My purpose is to follow the command that is given to me by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and by our beloved Prophet. I have constantly been instructed to share my dreams and that is what I hope to do. I want to spread awareness of my divine dreams to bring glad tidings to the Ummah. A lot of my dreams are related to the next world war, geopolitical issues and upcoming events that will not only shape the future of the Muslim world but the entire world as well. I've also had dreams on the jaw and Yajuj wa Majuj. Many of my dreams are very specific and pertain to current worldly events. My aim inshallah is to spread awareness about geopolitical incidents that will take place and the effects it will have on not only Pakistan but the entire world as shown to me in my dreams. I want people to take heed of these dreams. To believe or not, it's your choice. By the grace of Allah, my dreams have been published on various forums, newsletters and media groups. My dreams have been slowly coming true. The conquest of Syria by Turkey was shown to me in my dreams. This dream was published on the 9th of March 2017 and I dreamt of it on the 28th of February 2017 and this became true in 2018. Another one of my most recent dreams, I also had a dream about the former president Nawaz Sharif being kicked out of parliament and then eventually being assassinated which caused great ramifications in Pakistan. I will not go into details about these dreams. My YouTube channel can be found in the description as well as other links where you can watch or read all of the dreams in full detail and in different languages. I am not trying to start a new religion or implement new Islamic laws. I do not want wealth. I do not want your allegiance, nor power, nor your fame. I just want people to take heed of these dreams. I bear no allegiance or affiliation to any sect, country, faction, groups, or government. My allegiance is to Allah alone. My creed is Islam and my constitution is the Quran. I am a simple ummati of the Prophet Muhammad wasallam, who has been honored with this religion. I am simply following the covenant that I have made with Allah and His Rasul in spreading these divine inspirations. People have called me a liar, mentally ill, magician, possessed by shaitan, and accused me of claiming to be the Mahdi. With all due respect, nor have I ever claimed to be the Mahdi and nor do I want to be him. I respect the Mahdi, however, Allah knows best who that is. I am just doing what I was ordered to do, and I only want to be a friend of Allah and serve my Lord. I am not forcing anyone to believe in my dreams. You have the right to either believe or deny them. As for lying about these dreams, then come forth and let us both send curses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the liar. And whoever uses the name of Allah and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa to mislead the people, 
then he should remain in hellfire forever. And indeed, the curse of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is upon the liars. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, ثُمَّ نَبْتَهِ الْفَنَجْعَلْ لَعْنَةَ اللَّهِ عَلَى الْكَاذِبِينَ O Ummah, O Muslims of the Americas, Europe, Russia, the Middle East, Africa, the Indo-Pak subcontinent, Australia, and all of Asia, my message is for you to take heed of these dreams as a form of glad tidings to keep yourself updated as to what's going on around you and to know that Allah's help is coming very soon and we will witness our first victory in Ghazwatul Hind and soon by Allah's permission Baitul Maqdis and all of the Muslim lands and this ordeal is not far to the ulema the flag bearers of this deen who strive to enjoin the good and forbid the evil our Nabi calls out to you so will you just ignore it? You can deny me all you want, fine. But how can you deny Allah and His Rasul? In your sermons, you have mentioned many times that Prophet Muhammad wasallam constantly worried about his ummah and about their salvation and have preached about Allah's help and victory for the Muslims, especially during the end times. And now that the message comes to you from Muhammad wasallam and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Will you just turn a blind eye? I am just a simple man. I don't have the support of any organization or powerful figures. I rely only on Allah, the creator of the heavens and the earth. I will continue to preach my dreams and spread my message. Very soon, by the mercy of Allah, the whole world will be a witness to the truth behind these dreams. For now, I say to you, we we too are waiting, we too are waiting. We too are waiting. I request you all to share the dreams and visit my website divinedreams.co, my Facebook page and YouTube channel for more details. All links can be found in the description box below. Thank you for watching. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum. Like a stranger on his way